so let's now see expectation of function of random variable which means till now we have seen the expectation of x but now we want to also see the expectation of x square now you might see or you might say that uh, how does it different from expectation of x actually there is not much difference but still like just for the, uh, the sake of completion i'm having this as an another topic so uh, let's just directly jump into the question because there is no concept as such involved here so what they're saying suppose we roll a dime and let x be the value that is showing we want to find out the expectation of x square so see the x value could be if you're rolling a die could be one two three four five six right and then then in that case you will say that the probability of each of these values the probability of x being k or something like that each of these val uh, values will be 1 by 6 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 right now i'm saying that you are defining a new random variable which is x square right so what are the possible values of x square based on the values of x you can write the values of x square also so what are the possible values of x square it will be I think if x is 1, then 1, then here 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, right? These are the possible values of x square. Okay. So now, suppose if I just ask you to find out the probabilities of x square, which means that what is the probability that x square being 1? So let's just find out the probabilities of x square being being something, maybe k. So what is the probability that x square being 1, x square being 4, x square being 9, 16, 25, and 36? Now you will say, that this probability is 1 by 6, this is also 1 by 6, this is also 1 by 6. Why? Because x square is 1 when x is 1. x square is a 4 when x is 2. So that's why this is just 1 to 1 mapping, right? We have already done this. So basically, now what we just did is actually we have found out the PMF of x square given the PMF of x. And these things we already know. So let me probably copy this on the next page. So see here, this is what PMF or the probability mass function PMF of X and this is what PMF of X square. Now what we can do, we want to find out the probability of, oh sorry, we want to find, we, we wanted to find out the expectation of X square, right? So what we can do, we can write down the formula of expectation of X square, which will be actually summation of all, I mean, if, if that could have been Y, then this could have been uh, summation of all the possible values of y into probability of y right so similarly all the possible values of x square into probability of x square being some value equal to k okay maybe i can write k square here all the possible values of uh of x square maybe okay so i mean okay uh, just for the sake of writing uh, so this is basically k i mean all the possible values of x square and then uh, what is the what is the corresponding property actually you just need to multiply these two right so this is 1 into 1 by 6 plus 4 into 1 by 6 plus 9 into 1 by 6 plus 16 into 1 by 6 plus 25 into 1 by 6 plus 36 into 1 by 6 right so if i go to the next page you can say the expectation of x square actually this is just a new random variable if you want you can write it y okay that's not an issue so this will be uh, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus uh, uh, 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 divided by 6 that's how you can find out the expectation of x square which is coming out to be if you just add all of this this is 14 and then uh, 30 30 and then 25 is 55 55 and 36 is uh, 91 right which is coming out to be 91 divided by 6 that is how you can find out the expectation of x square so if i just ask you technically that what are the steps that we have followed then you will say we first have to find out the pmf of x square and once we know the pmf the expectation is uh, it's just a moment right i mean uh, you can find out the expectation in just a moment there is uh, there is no far away expectation is not far away because you can just multiply all these rows all these all these rows and then you can get the uh, uh, you, you you can get the answer I hope you understood that how to find out the expectation of x square because given the PM of x square then you can immediately find out the expectation of x square. Okay, so the answer here is uh, 19, uh, 91 by 6. But I would like to discuss one more method and that is why probably like we have this particular video. So now let me discuss one more method which is which is actually very nice method. Let me just call it method 2. 
this method says that if you want to find out the expectation of any function okay doesn't matter whatever this function is i mean x square x square plus 3 or whatever it is right you just need to do one thing you have to write the probability of x being k only for all k's and and if you want to find out the okay see what i'm saying here is that so this is the method which is saying that if you want to find out the expectation of any any function maybe x square you just write x square here which means that i will i will tell you what does this mean which means that if you want to find out the expectation of basically i mean anywhere any random variable uh, function of random variable x square then you can just sum over all the all the possible values of x only see this is all the possible values of x and then you just plug in your function so for example see here that what i'm saying let's suppose you want to find out the expectation of any function okay maybe y any random variable y okay with respect to actually the probability distribution of x i mean okay let's not worry about with respect to and all but yeah, if you want to find out the expectation of y you just plug in y if you want to find out the expectation of sin x you just plug in sin x if you want to find out the expectation of any any random variable any function of a random variable maybe let's suppose if i say that you want to find out the expectation of some some function of a random variable which is suppose is is little lengthy maybe let's suppose x cube plus 3x plus 2 then you just write x cube plus 3x plus 2 this is what method says and then just remember one thing this should be same okay this should be same i mean this probability distribution should be same this should be the uh, um, this should be the probability of x and then this is all the possible value of x only then you plug in your function this this should be same okay so basically this method is saying that you can find out for any function in general you can find out for any function g which a function of x g a function of x but remember this thing should be same just always remember this okay this thing should be same this is the all the possible values of x and then probability of x so let's just find out the probability uh, sorry the expectation of x square using this method right now uh, we want to find out the expectation of x square and this is the method 2 which i'm talking about and now the method says that if you want to find out the expectation of x square just remember that this th this is same right now just just plug in that function which is x square x square now what we will do we will just say that okay now uh, i mean uh, you, you 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 can just have the all the possible values of x which is basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so if you put in 1 then it will be 1 square and what is the probability of x being 1 x being 1 plus 2 square into probability of x being 2 plus 3 square into probability of x being 3 plus 4 square right plus 4 square into probability of x being 4 plus 5 square into probability of x being 5 x being 5 plus 6 square into probability of x being 6 let's just see if the answers are matching see here it will be 1 square into 1 by 6 plus 2 square into 1 by 6 plus 3 square into 1 by 6 plus 4 square into 1 by 6 plus 5 square into 1 by 6 plus 6 square into 1 by 6 right these will be the probabilities here now now if you just compare with the earlier earlier answer it was same right 1 square into 1 by 6 2 square instead of 2 square i'm just writing 4 and and instead of 3 square i'm writing 9 here so whatever happened earlier you are getting the same answer this time also but which one is easier see let's just uh, like introspect like the methods that we have done just now which is method one and method two in the method one what we did we have found out explicitly we have found out the pmf of x square right explicitly we have found out the pmf of x, x, x square and then then it is it is straightforward right then it is straightforward like once you find out the pmf of x, x square i don't think uh, there is any uh, any changes which are which are required right now here I mean, th there is anything that else you need to do for to find the expectation. Now here, you don't need to find the PMF of x square. That's the beauty about this method. Which means, if you want to find out the expectation of x square, just directly plug in the x square here. And you don't need to find out the PMF of x square. So maybe I can, I can give you one more example. Probably after that, it will be more clear. So let's just take one more question. Okay. So uh, suppose that the possible values of x are minus 2, minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 suppose these are the five possible values of x and let's assume that everyone is equally probable let's suppose that this is uh, this is 1 by 5 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 and this is also 1 by 5 let's suppose these are the probabilities that we have 
right these are the properties now what i'm asking you that find out the expectation of x square now let's just do using both methods okay so maybe i can just copy this and let me just try out the method one which says that you first find out the pmf of x square explicitly and then find out the expectation right so let's just try out the method one okay now uh, what we need to do we need to find out the pmf of x square here so uh, the possible values of x square you, if you if you just say then it will be the possible values of x square will be i think 0 uh, 1 and 4 so 0 1 and 4 these are the possible values of x square and now you can find out the pmf so what is the probability it will be 0 i think 1 by 5 because whenever x is 0 then only this will be uh, x square will be 0 what is the probability it is 1 whenever x is minus 1 or plus 1 right so it is 2 by 5 similarly it is 2 by 5 so these are the probabilities now can you find out uh, the expectation maybe you can easily find out how let me let me just show you so to find out the expectation what you need to do you can easily easily do one thing which is basically expectation of x square is is equal to 0 into 1 by 5 plus 1 into 2 by 5 plus 4 into 2 by 5 right plus 4 into 2 by 5 and which is equal to 2 by 5 uh, I mean now whatever is the answer let's not worry about it so but the expectation lo is looking like this and this is using method 1 which says that explicitly find out the PMF and then find out the expectation but let's just go to method 2 which is which is even very interesting right so what does this method 2 says let me just write the method 2 here method 2 is actually very interesting which is saying that you don't need to find out the expectation i mean uh, you don't need to find out uh, this uh, pmf explicitly what you need to do you can just plug in your uh, your function of a random variable here and then you can get your answer so basically it says that as long as let me just remove it once again okay so it says yeah as long as you have this thing as same right this thing is same you can just plug in your function which is in this case which is x square so you just plug in your function which is x square now it means if you want to find out the expectation of x square you just range over all the possible values of x only then it will be minus 2 square into probability of x being minus 2 plus plus minus 1 square into probability of x being minus 1 plus 0 square into probability of x being uh, 0 plus 1 square into probability of x being 1 plus 2 square into probability of x being 2 right Th this is how you can find out the expectation of x square i hope you understood this right this is minus 2 so uh, basically what we are doing here is basically we are just using out the using this formula directly right now let's just check if it is giving the same answer as earlier maybe i can just show you on the next page so let me go to the next page let me just show you if it is giving the same answer or not now probability of x being minus 2 as you know it is 1 by 5 right so it is minus 2 x square which is uh which is 4 into 1 by 5 right plus 1 into 1 by 5 plus 0 into 0 into something which is 1 by 5 only plus 1 into 1 by 5 plus again 4 into 1 by 5 so this is how you can write down this now let's just check is this same as the earlier or this is different okay that's what we want to check now see the earlier what we got is this one 0 into 1 by 5 plus 1 into 2 by 5 plus 4 into 1 by 5 so maybe i can copy this also okay and let me go to that page so see using method one you got this as expectation this is method one and using method two you got this as expectation so let me write that also here using method two 
you got this as expectation right so these are the two expectations that you got using different different methods this is expectation of x square this is expectation of x square so there i have used a pmf but here i am just using the formula let's just check if both are same or not see it is 4 into 1 by 5 and 4 into 1 by 5 two times and here it is 4 into 2 by 5 so i think it is matching it is 1 into 1 by 5 1 into 1 by 5 two times it is 1 into 2 2 by 5 two times right so and then 0 into 1 by 5 yes it is matching so actually it will match right I mean, uh, like with the examples, we can see that it is matching. So what is happening here? Earlier, what we did, we have found out the PMF. So whenever we said like x square is four, then we have concentrated both the probabilities that x being two or x being minus two in the PMF. And then we directly writing four into two by five. But here we have not cared about the concentration, which means like we have not cared about the PMF. We, we are writing it separately, right? And then ultimately it will get added up. So actually what is happening earlier, we are first adding up and then writing in the expectation but now we are directly writing in the expectation it automatically get get added so this is this is the beauty about this uh, this another formula that we have i hope you are convinced that both formula will give you the same answer right so these are the two methods that we have and i will suggest you to use this method too directly because there is no point in finding the pmf and then solving solving using that you can directly use this method too in fact, this method too is so uh, popular and some people use it without even knowing it that it is it is some something called as law of unconscious. I mean, <laughs> this is Lotus or something. I mean, law of unconscious rule. Let me just probably let me just see what is this said. Yeah, as you see on the Wikipedia, it is called law of unconscious statistician. Actually, I mean, uh, people call it law of unconscious because like people use it so frequently without even uh, knowing that they are using it, which means that they just plug in this function. If you just re just recall, this is the function, right? They just plug in this function and even without knowing it that uh, that they are using some some method. I mean, they are not finding out the PMF explicitly. So people do, people use it unconsciously. That is why it is even called as law of unconscious statistician or something like that. Anyway, it is not required for us, but I just told you that it is called a Lotus law of unconscious statistician. Um, yeah, law of unconscious statistician, right? Cool. So let me write Lotus law of the unconscious statistician. Okay, I hope you understood this method, right? Now let's just solve more examples using this method. So this is the solution for, for the particular question. Now let's just solve more examples probably and after that it will be more and more clear. So uh, there are a couple of questions. Uh, this is one question, this is another question, this is another question. So there are a couple of questions. So I, I would like you to do one thing. Just try out all of these questions using method 1 and using method 2 and just check whether you are getting the same answer or not. I mean, you should be getting, you must be getting, but just for the sake of practice, just do these couple couple of questions, okay? So just try out these couple of questions and uh, we will be meeting in the next video. Thank you.